Okay, it's time to move on to the next casting. Um, I've read all over these plans over and over and over and over again. Um, this is a tool holder assembly. Um, you can have a number of um, arbors in it or indexing rings on it. Um, you can have a couple of pages here. There's a diagram of the indexing ring. Um, and to be honest with you, I'm not real sure on how I'm going to tackle this. Um, with the instructions saying everything's done in the lathe, well, I'm going to be doing the majority of it in the mill. So, the theory is, I'm just going to try and hit all the numbers. And uh, just hope for the best. When you read all the literature, this two inch between centers here, between the center of each ball, is the most critical. It says that you should be doing all these castings off one setup. Um, so you have a you bore the five eight hole, and then do the next hole in one of them, and have a, a, a register with a five eight register on the face plate of the lathe that you can put the next one in, and you know exactly it's it's two inches. So they say, um, but. This part was already machined prior to me getting this, so I'm just going to have to try and get it right, pretty much. Um, anyway, we'll have a crack at it. I'm sure we'll be successful somehow, some way. There's got to be room for some error, surely. No, it's absolutely pissing rain here today. They're forecasting 80 mil of rain. It's just over three inches. Okay. I've got to start somewhere on this casting. Um, got the device. I've got a piece of uh, emery cloth against the jaw. Or against the face in between the jaw and the, the part. When you put a square on this, like uh, visually, it's all... This is pretty square with this edge face. So what I've done is um, put in the vise and squared it up to where I think is right. Um, I can take a bit off this, like quite a few mil off it. Um, I clean it up and I've got to start somewhere on it. And I've never worked with castings before, so this is all a fairly new thing to me and it's I think it's just actually making a start on it is the biggest part and just work from there I've turned the part over. I've got it supported with a just a jack under here. This dimension from here to the other side has to be an inch and a half. This one has to be two inch. So it's about hundred there to come off this. Um, and then I figure what's got to come off that now, but yeah. And I've got no room, I've got I've got terrible lighting over the mill. I've really got to do something about it. Um, I need to get one of them halo lights that fit up under the, around the quill. But, uh, just have to wait.
on the right. V's dick under. Okay, that one's done. This one's got to be brought down to two inch now. So I'll deck it off and grab the phone first. I've got 162 there to come off that. How are you, old fella? How you doing, young fella? All right, mate. Hold on, two inches. Yeah, I've got no idea what I'm doing. It's just, I suppose there is no right and wrong way of doing it. What I've done is, uh, I found the center of this boss here um, by using, let me start all that again. I found the center of this boss by going across the centre then I use this centre finding you know, optical centre punch down the centre then I measured down two inches use this again to mark the two inch centre which has to have a five eight or hole there an inch hole here this has uh, inch in inch on the on the inside inch and a quarter on the outside like a register and it has to have an inch and a half radius clearance eighth of an inch deep so out to this radius line here now one would say <laughs> Just feel it starting to drag there. So 
one inch. Pretty lucky. I didn't think I was going to hit it that well. Well, that was a good result. It had to be one inch nominal, and that's what it is. Now I've got a karate great big mess to clean up here. And the phone to answer. Okie doke. It's not raining today, and we had about a over about a 36 hour period, about about 190 odd mil. So yeah, she come down. Um, this has to be. You can see a, a faint line here, pencil line, scrub line, pencil line. Um, that's inch and a half from the centre of this boss out to here. This has to be, oh, and. So this mark here, that's an inch and a quarter, roughly. Um, I've got to put a, an eighth of an inch recess. Um, but that inch and a quarter is pretty important. And out to this line here, which is clearance for a back plate. And after that, a five eight round hole in here. And it has to be split through there. Split through here. Um, yeah. So, I'm just going to take real light cuts. I was going to put it in the rotary table, but it's square here now. I'll leave it to that um, and just take real light cuts and just keep normally way at it and get this down. I'm going to lay some rag down today because that was absolute shit to clean up all that cast. It's horrid. Just, man, oh man, the graphite in it just smeared like dog shit. Can't get wrapped up anywhere there. I did put a light undercut in there just so it um, gets a square edge. Guess it's set up and do this one here in this ball five eight and then right after a lot of screwing around to set this up and I know I'm probably going to get a lot of comments saying it's probably done the wrong way but this is the way I'm going to do it so I've done this inch ball through here with the inch and a quarter boss on the front of it the relief in it so now it's got to have a five eight hole two inches from that center of this inch ball through there. This is a one inch pin I machined up, which I put in the hole. I used a tense indicator 
and run down the bore of this one inch and I've got a machinist jack under here it's running true um, yeah I've spent hours trying to set this up just yeah anyway so I've shifted over two inches and I'm going to put this 5.8 bore through here um, and then it's got to have another feature in here which I'm not worried about just yet I just want to get this 5.8 bore in there which I'm going to use the boring head so drill it out um, and then run a small boring bar and bore it out to 5.8 so that's what I'll be doing going well this will be the last cut this one up wish grab five there oops with that. Good indicator set up over here. Back to zero. It's locked off. Well, according to this, the bed. So then, twenty-six, twenty-four, and. Seven tenths. Um, just don't have to do now. I'm going to take another. It may have a little burr on the end of that too. And then we will just start. I'll think about this, I think. So a bad fit. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock at night 
and been thinking about this for the last God knows how many hours. This has to have a three inch back plate put on here for the indexing ring to register on. It has to have a plunger, spring plunger. Um, the K is spring loaded in the casting here. Uh, pushes on, goes through the back plate, pushes on the indexing ring, locks into holes. I'm not going to put this hole in yet until I get the back plate made because it's got to be screwed into here as well. Until um, it's fixed to this, then I can ream the holes or drill the holes, ram them all in one go. So then I know I've got a positive fit. Um, there's no trying to line up, yeah takes the guesswork out of it yet so um, I'm hoping anyway so this here I've just got a chamfer these holes this here can come out and I can finish machining the slots or I can put the saw cuts in it uh, machine these for the um, lock bolts okay so this had to be faced a 5.8 spot face here 9 sixteenths from the center of this bore for the locking screw and has to be a 5 sixteenth hole drilled through it This saw doesn't run very concentric. Um, flipped the part over, realigned it all, got the blade on centre, but the blade isn't very concentric at all. It's a nice fit on the arbor and everything, but yeah. Flipped it over so the next operation I can skin the top of this off. I hope you can see it there where the um, the head of the the um, locking bolt sits up against. So. Toby come in just after I started cutting that. I'll turn the video off and turn the machine off. I was talking to Toby. He just got home from school and I forgot to turn the bloody camera back on, so I only remember right at the very end, so I do apologise. Um, I've eyeballed the centre, I put this back in this, back in the hole. I eyeballed sander, which is the best I can do. That's what I've done on the rest of them. It's worked, so yes, I guess it's just time to split it. This does have a bit of run out in it. Anyway, what it is is what it is. That's about all I'm going to do on this part for now. Um, I'm going to go and make the rotating ring that sits on the back here. And then with this features in here, I'll be able to locate the holes correctly for the locking pin and so on. So it'll be all done in one, all drilled in one go, so I know everything's going to be aligned. So this can be set aside. Uh, first off, I'm just going to pick apart and start building. So it'll probably be the, uh, either the, probably the backing plate I'd say at this stage. And I'll make the indexing ring 
then the pins and the collet yeah little locator pin here knob so it says shit there's a lot of work in this <laughs>